Namaste, dear students. I am Sulay Chichi from Vyasa Vidya Vila Kalli. In our previous video, we discussed about the different types of components of food that are carbohydrate, fat, protein, vitamins and minerals. And we discussed about the balanced diet also. Now in this class, we will learn about that how to test the presence of starch, carbohydrate and protein in our food materials. Okay, so this carbohydrate, uh, different types of carbohydrates are there that you will learn in higher classes. For us in this class only the starch like uh, uh, paddy or uh, rice, uh, wheat etc. in potato also it is present. So for that what we have to take? Uh, you know that is potato. This potato is also one type of carbohydrate or it contains starch. Next I took uh, that uh, rice. Okay. That is simple rice uh, cooked one and this also contains starch. Next I have that starch solution, chemical starch solution. This also contains starch. Now let us learn that how to test the presence of starch. For that one chemical that is called iodine. It is like a brownish color substance. Okay, iodine, iodine solution is there. And when we add this iodine solution in the food materials, it will turn into blue-black color. So let us try. I am taking this uh, potato and I add that a drop of iodine solution in it. Let's wait for a few seconds. I will show that after some time it will become blue black color. Okay, so I am keeping this one here. Now I am taking that starch solution and uh, it is a test tube. Add a little amount of starch and uh, this iodine solution. See this iodine solution. I am putting one drop of iodine solution in it. You can observe the difference. See, just to see that how it is changing into blue black color. Okay, so it shows that when we add iodine solution in the starch, it becomes blue black color. Now I am taking another type of uh, starch that is our uh, rice cooked one. Okay, so in that cooked one, when I put some drop of iodine solution, you can see the changes in it. See that how it becomes blue black color. Okay. And then that means starch. In starch, that is food item. Food item plus what we have added. This one is the iodine solution. Iodine solution. If we add this iodine solution. It becomes blue black color. What is the color here? It is blue black color. Blue black. It is blue black color. The food item becomes blue black color. It's clear now. That is iodine plus starch. That is the food item. Is blue black color. Next, let us move to the protein. How will you test the presence of protein? For the protein, the best protein, uh, animal products are the good source of protein, we know that. But with here we are not using the egg or fish etc. I am taking that milk. Okay. I am taking little amount of milk added here. Okay. And this milk added, this milk. Next thing is, in that we have to add, we have to add this one that is called a caustic soda. Okay, caustic soda, a drop of caustic soda and this is the copper sulfate. You can see the copper sulfate color, generally we are seeing the copper sulfate color. So I made the solution of this copper sulfate here and then this caustic soda here. So this is the solution of caustic soda and this is the solution of copper sulfate. Now I am adding this uh, milk to test whether it contains protein or not. So I added a few drop of copper sulfate. Few drop of copper sulfate added and then adding caustic soda. Few drops of caustic soda. See that? We can see the change in it. It 
completely become violetish color and if when it become violetish color it proves that it contains protein so milk contain protein that's why milk is also known as balanced diet okay so this is the protein so what is the test conducted here protein that is food item food plus what is this one this is a copper sulfate so here i am writing copper sulfate copper sulfate plus next to this one the caustic soda so i am writing here plus caustic soda caustic soda it gives what is the color here this is the violet color okay so here i am writing violet so once again this protein food plus copper sulfate plus caustic soda gives violet color it shows that milk or that uh, protein contains uh, protein is present in the milk okay now next is about the fat how will you tell the presence of fat it's a common thing if you are crushing the groundnut inside a white paper crush it you will get the translucent substance so i am adding a drop of uh, oil in this paper so if this oil is added we can see that it become translucent you will learn in your next chapter that what is this translucent translucent means it allows the light to pass partially not fully so this is one type of opac and here this is called a translucent generally in lower class we are using this paper and rubbing our head that is oil and then we are tracing the substance so this trace paper such type of substance so that is the test for it shows that this is the uh, oil fat contains so fat makes the substances or paper translucent okay so this is the test for starch carbohydrate that is starch or carbohydrate protein and then fat hope that you understood this three experiments in next uh, class we will discuss about that sources of this components and then if these substances are not in our body if it is deficient in our body what will happen and that is called deficiency deficit so in our next chapter we will discuss about that deficiency chapter okay thank you